G'day everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft build tutorial. In this one we'll be creating this small castle slash keep base. It features two floors with storage and crafting, smelting, a main storage area on the second floor and a bedroom. The top floor serves as the defense area allowing you to defend against mobs around your base. Also I've been pretty sick recently. Coronavirus! No not that. So if I sound a bit more nasally and depressed than usual then that's why. <laughs> All right, as usual, I'll do a quick tour of everything so you can be sure this is something you want to build. Wait, just before we get started on the tour, we have our very first sponsor. Who is it, you might ask? Uh, it's me. I post builds every other day over on my Instagram, and if you wanted to download them for yourself, whether you're a map maker, service-born creator, or are just wanting to learn from them, you can head over to my Patreon and get access to a bunch of them for only eight bucks. Link is in the description. All right, now onto the tour. All right, so starting off the tour, let's take a quick look around the exterior. So for the front wall design here, you can see we have these nice big long pillars which are repeated throughout the entire walls. And on the front, we also have a, obviously our entrance and then up here we have a little balcony as well, which leads into the bedroom. We'll get to that in just a minute. But even though this balcony might be really tiny, it is also functional. You can walk out here and stand here and shoot mobs with your bow if you want to. You can also quickly escape from the second floor if you wanted by opening up that spruce fence gate. For now let's head around to the sides and you'll see that we have a farm. You can of course expand this out that way if you wanted to. You could expand it backwards and also forwards. It's up to you. I went with this size because it's easy to build and, and looks nice. But yeah, as you can see, we also have another one over on this side. They have alternating crops. It's up to you, whatever you want to plant. And also looking at the walls, you can see we just have this repeated design all the way around every side of the wall. So now that's all of the exterior. Let's head inside. So on this first floor, we have our crafting blocks. We also have a bit of storage and also our smelting. So on this side, we've got a crafting table, anvil. We have a blacksmithing table and also our grindstone. You can replace any of these with whatever you want. We also have a lot of barrels along the top and also some down the bottom. A couple of chests as well, just to keep the organization flowing. Then we have this little island in the middle. This kind of just takes up some space that was kind of empty before. A little extra storage, never hurts. And then back here, we have our smelting. We've got some blast furnaces, regular furnaces and smokers as well. More barrels along the top and a little bit of decoration too. So next, let's head up the ladder up to the second floor and this pretty much serves as our main storage we've got a bunch of double chests and yes these do open and then on this side this is mainly decoration we've got a little bit of storage along here but you could replace these with brewing stands whatever you wanted i just went for a more decorative kind of piece and then turning to the left let's head through here into the bedroom on the left side here we have just a couple more barrels and a chest just for some personal storage and then turning around we have our bed and also a little more storage and this is the door here that leads out to the balcony uh, just ignore nor that. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, heading back inside, let's head up to the final floor, which is actually the roof of the base. So up here, we have a little bit of storage. We've got a crafting block as well. And this is where you'd come up and mainly just shoot mobs around your base just to get rid of them. You can also come up here just to chill if you wanted to, but honestly, whoever just chills in Minecraft, we're always doing something. So the main reason for up here is just to shoot mobs and defend your area. We also have a nice big flag up here as well. It's made out of cyan and light blue wool. You could change this to your favorite color maybe red and black or white and blue it's up to you didn't mean to rhyme but uh yeah <laughs> But yeah, that pretty much covers it for the tour of the base. This one's pretty small compared to some of my usual tutorials as of late. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and like the look of it. If you want to build this for yourself, feel free to stick around for the rest of the video and we'll get started right now. All right, so start off by finding a nice flat open area and we're going to begin by placing the start of all of the pillars. Next, it's time to raise all of the pillars up. There's two different heights, and this one here is an additional six blocks for seven blocks in total. And then all of the corner ones are seven blocks, which is eight blocks in total, if that made sense. If it doesn't, just look at the on-screen measurements. Next, it's on to placing all of the strip spruce wood that's in between all of the pillars. And we're going to be raising these all up by six blocks and then just create basically a giant box out of all of these just inside of the pillars.
Next, it's onto the detailing for the walls. So below and above up here, let's place in some stone stairs and we're gonna do this all the way around all of the walls. But before we get to that, let's place in the doorway design. So these are made up of stone brick walls and spruce fences and then place a stone brick block here with a stone stair block as well. Below that, let's replace this grass block with a stone block and place on a spruce door. Now on the very top of these walls, add in some more spruce fences like this and then connect up up here with a stone brick block. And then we're just gonna repeat the same design with the stone stairs all the way around the rest of the walls. Now with most of the exterior done, it's time to head inside and we're gonna begin by replacing all of the grass with stone. Now with the floor done, let's create the ceiling and we're gonna do that with stone brick slabs just like this and they're gonna be two and a half blocks up on this layer. Now with that done, I'm just gonna chuck a temporary lantern on in here just so it's a little bit brighter. And now we're gonna start off on the left side wall, which is going to be the storage and crafting area. So to begin, we're going to replace all of these stone brick slabs here with barrels. And then we're gonna place another two barrels on the bottom left and a bottom right corner. Now in between these barrels, let's place in a double chest and then a single chest. And above these, let's place some upside down spruce stairs and in between those, a trapdoor. Now in this left section right here, let's place a crafting table and an anvil and then on this side let's place in a smithing table and a grindstone and that's our storage wall done now let's do the smelting wall so once again let's replace all of these top slabs with barrels and then underneath this let's place in two blast furnaces and then beside that three normal furnaces and then two smokers in the remaining area there now just below these barrels let's add in a little shelf on either side so we're going to place two upside down spruce stair blocks and then coming out from those we're going to do two spruce trap doors just like that now we're just going to add a pot plant on this furnace right here with a fern inside or whatever plant you want beside that we're going to place a campfire make sure to extinguish it as well and then to the right of that a lantern now let's add this little central island thing. So grab three barrels and we're gonna stand here and place them in line with these three furnaces, just like this. Then on the middle on each side, let's place in a trap door and then we're gonna cover the remaining faces exposed here with spruce signs. On top of this, just place on a lantern. Now let's move on to the actual ladder to get up to the second floor. So to do that, we're gonna place in a couple of ladders here, remove this slab and place on another ladder. We're also gonna be replacing these two slabs with stone brick stairs, and then we're gonna place another two next to the start of the ladder down here. And then in these two gaps, we're gonna place in some spruce trap doors. And now that's the first floor completely finished. Now let's head up and start off the second floor. So firstly, let's create a wall that kind of divides this area into two separate rooms. And to do that, we're gonna count five spaces away from the ladder here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the fifth block, we're going to create our wall. Leave a gap in the middle here as we're gonna be placing our door. And let's just extend this all the way up three blocks high. Replace this block here with some stairs and then we're gonna place our spruce door right here. Now before we create the bedroom, we're going to finish up out here first. And to do that, we're going to go into the left side wall and place in a bunch of double chests just like this. And then while we're up here, let's place on a bunch of stone stairs just in this configuration like this. And that's just so we don't have this weird gap. These chests are of course all still openable even with some stairs above them. Next, let's turn around and create this wall. And this one's more of just a decorative kind of wall. You can change this into anything you want. But starting off, let's grab out some bookshelves and place them in these corners like this. And then above, let's place in a strip of barrels. And then lastly, in this gap here, let's place in two lectins and chuck a book in one of them. And then to finish up out here, let's place on the rest of the ladders just like this. And then to the left of the ladder, let's place a spruce fence and chuck a lantern on top of that. Now before we head into the bedroom, let's actually head up and create the ceiling for this floor. And to do that, we're gonna grab out some stone slabs and we're gonna place these all on this level like this. And 
then just leave this gap empty here and let's head back down and start off the bedroom. So heading inside, let's turn to the left. And firstly, what we're gonna do is replace these two stone slabs with some barrels. And then below that, let's place in a double chest. Now let's turn around and do the same thing. We're gonna place two barrels up here, but this time we're gonna place in two beds below it. Now we're gonna add the lantern in. So grab some spruce stairs and we're actually going to remove these three stone brick slabs here. And then we're gonna build out some stairs like this. Just destroy these three and then this will make sense why we're doing this when we get up to the second floor but this is just so we can add our lantern on now and then what we're going to do next is put a bunch of trap doors like this all the way up and then we're going to also add in a door right here and then just cover up this last gap here with another trap door now let's open up the door and head outside onto the little balcony and i'm actually just going to fly for this part just so you can see what i'm doing a little bit easier so what we're going to do is actually remove these six stone brick blocks like this and then we're going to replace the top corner ones and also the bottom corner ones with some stone brick stairs then in these gaps let's place in some trap doors all the way along like this and then place a spruce fence gate on this block here and then two lanterns just like this now heading back in here you can see this is like just a cool little balcony it's mainly just for show as it looks kind of cool from the outside but yeah, still kind of functional. Now it's time to head out of the bedroom and up to the final floor. And to start off this final floor, we're going to raise up all of these logs up by an extra one block. So just go all the way around and raise up all of these blocks. Now with that done, let's add in our stairs and slabs all the way around. As you can see, we already have the first three here. So beside them, just place some slabs. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, except we're going to leave the slab here as we're gonna be placing a block in right there. Beside the ladder, let's just place in these two stairs. And then let's do the same thing as this on this side, the three stairs, a slab, and then leave that blank. Next, right in the center, let's place in a stone brick block and beside that two stone brick slabs. This is where our flag is gonna be going and we'll build that right at the end. Next, in all of these corners, let's place in some stone bricks just like this. And then we're gonna do that in each corner. And now on the rest of these three, we're gonna raise these all up by one half block. And we're also gonna add a lantern on this block here. So let's just quickly go around and add the lantern on. And then let's continue to add all of these slabs on. Now at that done, let's go back around again and place in all of these fence gates in between these gaps. And now let's add in some stone brick slabs. We're gonna place these in all of these gaps like this. And then in between all of these gaps, let's place in a spruce trap door. Now let's fix up all of these gaps. And on this left side, we're gonna place in some barrels. So place the first one facing up and then the second one facing out. On top of this second one, place on a campfire and extinguish it. Then in these two gaps here, let's place in a chest and then a crafting table. Now with all of that done, let's create the flag. Before we go into the flag, I just realized that we forgot our trap door cover here for the ladder. So quickly add that in. And now let's create the flag. So to do that, we're gonna place our first block, which is gonna be a stone brick wall. And then I'm going to fly for this flag as it's really quite a pain to maneuver around with all of the scaffolding, but it should be easy enough to follow along. So place your stone brick wall and then we're gonna place five spruce fences. So one, two, three, four, five. And then above that, another stone brick wall. Now we're gonna be using cyan wool and also light blue wool. So let's first start off the flag with some cyan wool and below that some light blue wool. Then we're gonna come one block out. And this is also in a checkered pattern. So we're gonna alternate between these two different colored blocks. So we're going to go one block out and back. Now we're actually going to go back in line with this section here, but we're gonna go down one. So. Uh, actually place these wrong to make sure they are alternating and then the last wool block we're going to come back out in line with this one and it's just going to be a light blue wool so that's how our flag looks here's a top down view here's a side view here's an underneath view uh yeah hopefully hopefully that helps and with that our entire castle base is now completed all that's left to do now is to create the little farms on the left and right side you can of course choose to opt out and not build these if you want to but if you want to stick around and let's do them now all right so first let's create the left 
left side farm and to line this up we're going to head around to the left side of course and we're going to stand in line with this pillar here and then we're going to count four blocks away along the grass so one two three four and then on the fourth one let's remove this and place in a water bucket next grab out your hoe and we're going to go two blocks in that direction and two blocks in this direction and then we're going to expand this to the left and right by an additional block so you should end up with this shape that's three by five and then we're pretty much just going to surround it with fences and also some stripped wood so in each corner place in a stripped spruce wood block then we're going to connect them up with fences and stuff so on this front area let's place two fences like this and a fence gate in between on this side we're going to go another three fences like this and fence gates in between them we're going to leave the back for now and on this side we'll just repeat the same design as the other side then on top of all of these let's place on a spruce slab block and then on each side we're going to place a lantern on these two fences now onto the back wall design we're going to be placing two composters and in between them a barrel and then on top of all of these we're going to place on a trap door and we're actually going to be placing them in this orientation and this is so that you can still open these composters and actually access them and it also keeps mobs out as far as i know don't quote me on that and then to finish up this farm let's just place in all of the carrots or whatever crop you choose you can of course expand this farm if you really want to you could bring it out all the way in line with your actual castle here you could extend it out that way if you wanted to it's all up to you and now to do this on the other side we're just going to repeat this exact same design on this side and i'm going to build this all in real time guys you can see how fast i can actually build and my full potential this footage is not sped up at all there we go guys i think i should probably enter into a competition or something because that was really quick and with that the entire base and build is now completed i would recommend adding a bunch of grass around your base as well if you haven't done it already it makes it look a lot nicer and also add in a pathway it's up to you but if you enjoyed this shorter tutorial this time around be sure to leave a like as it helps more people find this video for them to also enjoy and thank you so much everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.